Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and today we're going to make bubble tea ice pops, vegan style! In Australia, ice pops are known as icy poles and around the world they're also known as popsicles, ice lollies, freezer blocks, ice blocks, all sorts of names, but let's just call them ice pops for today. Per three popsicles, you're going to need one tea bag or quarter of a cup of loosely packed herbs. Yes, there is a thing called chocolate mint and this is it. It is amazing, it smells amazing, it tastes amazing, and yes, it tastes like chocolate mint and it's a plant, which is absolutely awesome. Of course, chocolate comes from a plant too, but this is more unrefined. <laughs> Two teaspoons of liquid sweetener or raw sugar, quarter of a cup of non-dairy milk of your choice. Now there are lots of different extras that you could use such as tapioca balls but I'm not using them today because I wanted to try something different. Aloe vera, got some crushed chocolate, some raspberries and some cinnamon. You can do whatever variety you want, whatever mixture, but today I'm going to show you how to do one from a tea bag and one from fresh herb. So, tea bag, put it in, nice and easy. With the herbs you're going to need about a quarter of a cup of loosely packed leaves and you're just going to pick those up and pop them into your cup. To that you're going to pour in half a cup of freshly boiled water. I'm just saying being precise about this. Once you've got your tea in your hot water it's time to put your sweetener in. I'm going to use a raw brown sugar in the fruit tea. This is a peach and strawberry fruit tea that I'm using today. And for the chocolate mint I'm going to use maple syrup. So two teaspoons of maple syrup going in. Make sure you stir and dissolve all that sugar in there. So going to steep that for five minutes. Once it's cooled down you're going to put it in the fridge until chilled anywhere from two to eight hours. Here's <laughs> some I've prepared earlier. I'm going to strain off the chocolate mint leaves into the cup. So here we have our three different teas. We've got our chocolate mint, peach and strawberry tea, and a rooibos tea, which has got vanilla and cinnamon in it. You can leave as is and serve them in an ice pop like that, or you can add milk. Now it might seem a little bit strange adding milk to fruit teas, but that's what they do in bubble tea. So the chocolate mint is just going to be as is, so I'm going to pop that one over there. But to these two teas I am going to add milk. So I'm going to add a quarter of a cup. I'm using a Zoku maker today, but these would work fine in a normal traditional ice pop maker. So I'm going to put my sticks in first. For the fruit one, I'm just going to fill it about half first, or even about a third. Bits of raspberry and pop them down. So they're a little bit like fruit tapioca balls. You really only need one raspberry per pop when you break it up like this. And then fill it the rest of the way up. The next one is the chocolate mint. So these were the leaves that I made the tea with. And I'm just going to stick a couple in, fill all the way to the top. This one, I'm going to just, just sprinkle a little bit of the crushed chocolate right on the top there. Last one is our Rui Boss. And I'm going to pour just a little bit of tea in. And then I'm going to put <laughs> a very sticky aloe vera cubes in, if I can get them in. This could be a little challenging. And pull it up. With the Zoki Maker, I'm going to wait seven to nine minutes for my ice pops to be ready. If you are using normal moulds, pop them in the freezer until they're frozen. These have been sitting for seven to nine minutes and I'm going to now take them out. And there we have our wonderful bubble tea, icy pops, vegan style. 
This test time, I have three to taste. I won't do all today, I'll just do one of them. Look, I'm going to do the chocolate mint because it's so incredible that this comes from a plant. Obviously, I'll put chocolate on it as well. Give this a go. Mmm, oh my gosh. It's so good. If you haven't tried chocolate mint before, you have to. It's amazing. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you enjoyed these beautiful bubble tea icy pops. Don't forget that you can find my recipes at www.veganstylecooking. Look forward to seeing you all again next week. Bye! <laughs>